Hello again. Uh, let's continue our discussion of Phaser. And uh, so far, we've got the game kind of running, and and uh, you know, we added a game over, you know, um, you know, game over message right to tell us when the game is done. Um, and what I thought we'd do next is, you know, add a screen that is sort of a splash screen or a preload screen that comes up before the game. So we'll create a brand new scene, and that scene will show here and you can click on it to begin playing the game and that'll show us how to how to switch from one scene to another scene right and we've kind of done a bunch of this stuff already like we've already created a scene um, we've put some pictures in the scene and now all we need to do is just do all that stuff again maybe add some text to the scene right and then we'll need to add a new feature where we can switch from one scene to another right and then we can learn a few other things along the way so uh, what we're gonna do here and we can also practice you know making classes right so I'm gonna go to Adam here and what I need to do is make a brand new class so remember the game scene class extends scene so we're just gonna make a brand new class that looks just like this but has a different name and kinda does some different stuff down here okay but otherwise it'll be just like this one okay so I'm gonna add a new file and I'll save it and I'm gonna put it in the source directory with the other files and I'll call it preload scene.js and it will have to we can actually copy this from the other file but I think I'll just type it you know and uh, it'll have to import scene and we get scene from phaser because it comes from the npm package and then we'll define a new class. So we'll begin with the class keyword and we'll call this uh, preload scene. And since it's a phaser scene, it'll have to extend um, scene. Okay, and there we go. So that's pretty good. And if we want to share this with another file, we'll have to export it. So we'll make it the default export in this case because it'll be the only thing that this file exports. So we'll say you know export default preload scene and, uh, and there we go right so the next thing is that um, every phaser scene should implement two methods preload and create and then it can also add update and we can put the constructor in there and some other things right um, so what we'll do is we'll type in preload and then we'll add in create and then if we need the update we'll add that in also okay uh, we can add that in later okay so one other thing we need to do in order to be able to change from scene to scene every scene needs a unique key or like an, a name to identify it okay and this is the same thing that's happening here when we're loading images we give each image a key so this is sky and ground and star and so whenever we want to refer to these like you know down here when we want to add an image that we've loaded we can use the key value to get that image okay so game scenes work the same way so every scene needs to have a key so right now I'm in game scene and in order to assign a key to the scene you can do it one of two ways I noticed this is phasers a little weird it's got a lot of different ways to do kind of the same thing sometimes um, and one of the ways that you can do it is you can pass an object in the constructor to the scene class right so so when we put something in here in the constructor it's like we're passing it to our super class which is scene here right and you can put options in here that uh, you know configure the scene in various ways and one of those options is the key okay so I can call this I can give this the key of game right um, if you don't have a lot to do here like I'm only passing one value phaser allows you to um, to just pass the name so if we just do it this way, this is kind of a shortcut for doing the same thing. But if I had more options in that object, I could add other features or, you know, other options to it. And then I would also include the key, right? So I'm going to just do it the short way here. I'll put in, you know, super game. And we'll also have to give our preload scene a key. So I'm going to add the constructor here. So I'll say constructor and then I'll call super anytime you have the constructor if you're extending a class you have to call super so I'll call super and then I'll call this one preload okay 
So there you go. So now these these both these scenes have their their key, right? So now let's get the preload scene to do something, right? So actually, wait, let's let's just see the preload scene right now, and it won't show us anything. It'll just be blank. But let's get it to load up. So to do that, um, I'm going to go to the to to the config file. So remember the game in in index.js, when we say new game, we pass in this configuration object, right? And the configuration object has a bunch of properties in it. One of them is the scene that it should display. If you just include one scene here, then um, that's the scene that the game shows, right? And so we could just swap that out for preload. Um, the other thing you can do is you can give it an array of scenes so it knows so it's aware of all the scenes that should be available right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add um, the square brackets around game scene don't lose this comma right and then I'll add in preload scene and a comma here right so I'll say game scene comma preload scene and then my game breaks because it doesn't know what preload scene is right so that means we'll have to import it at the top so I'll choose import uh, preload scene from um, preload scene, right? And then I'll save that, and then my game comes back, but the preload scene is empty. Now, if you have more than one scene here, it loads the first one in the array first, okay? So if I was to take this out and move it after game scene, then when I save, it loads the game scene first. But but preload scene is still available through its key, right? So I'm going to undo because I want to show the preload scene first. So I'll put that one first. Let's go back to preload scene, and maybe we can use the image right here from the um, the boilerplate code as you know as a splash image, right? Okay. So I'll put that on the um, on, in the preload scene, right? So I'm going to go to preload here. So I'm in preload scene, and what we want to do, and we'll just kind of go over like the phaser process, right? So phaser, in phaser, in your preload method, you load any assets that you're going to use, right? And so we say this.load, and then you say the type of asset. So I want to load an image. And when I load the image, I give it a key that we'll use to reference it, and I'll call it logo. And then you name the path to the image. So my images are in the, um, the assets folder, right? Um, so I'm gonna say assets uh, slash um, logo.png. And this is something I'm not quite clear on, just to be totally honest. Um, this doesn't have the dot slash in front of it because that would mean the current folder. So I'm assuming that it goes from the root level here but the build here is where our project bundle gets loaded. So actually, it seems like it would have to look up one folder to get to assets. Um, so that uh, we're gonna have to look into that because I, I want to be kind of clear, like how you know how the path is used to get to those files, right? But anyway, this worked in the example, so we'll just follow the examples, right? But I'm kind of looking at that, going like, you know, what exactly is going on here? How do, how are they resolving this path? But anyway, so there's our there's our image there. And now if we want to see an image, like after we've loaded the asset, what we'll do is we'll go down here to create. And this is when the scene actually loads and creates itself, right? It's initialized, right? We're going to say this dot add the type of asset. So in this case, an image. And then we give it a position. So I'll put it at 400 and 300. And then we name the key value for that image. So I'll put in logo because that's the name that I used up here. And so I'll, I'll, I'll save that. And then let's see. Oh, there's our, our logo. Hey, we could go get that animation script again from the default tutorial, right? And we could make it animate, right? But right now, we'll just stick with this. And then in the next video, maybe we'll set it up where you can click it and have it take us to the, uh, to the game scene, right? And we could add some other features here on this scene to make it more interesting, okay? So anyway, thanks for watching.